guys, today we're gonna do another uh, fantastic recipe that we make in our house, and that is hemp milk, okay? Uh, super, super simple to do this. We have the hemp hearts, pick this pack up over at Costco. We got a half cup of the hemp hearts, two pitted dates, and 32 ounces of water. Uh, now, when you're making this recipe, some people may not be using, uh, say, like a high-speed, uh, high-performance blender like, like a Vitamix, right? You're gonna probably get a little bit of grittiness, and you'll see in some recipes, like online, they'll say, hey, run this through a nut milk bag, okay? Uh, since we are using the Vitamix, we're not gonna be needing a nut milk bag. However, if you need a nut milk bag, hit up alacartcooking.com. You get two of these for 10 bucks. They're synthetic, they're reusable, they're awesome. You'll see us use them in different recipes and things like that. So make sure you grab one of those uh, on the website. All right, so let's jump right into this. Uh, we have the trusty A3500 Vitamix. This is one you see me use in the demo. Obviously love it very much. You see me use this time and time again. We're gonna be using the low profile 64 ounce container. That's the one that comes with it. So no extra accessories needed on this one. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, toss in that half cup of hemp hearts. Okay, you don't have to let these soak, unlike uh, like with the almond milk, you let it soak. We're gonna put in 32 ounces of water. There we are. And two pitted dates. Now, if you want, you can also add in uh, vanilla. So. Uh, I, I love vanilla almond milk and vanilla coffee creamer, vanilla, vanilla, everything. Uh, but this one, I'm actually not going to add the vanilla into it because I like to use this for say like protein shakes or we actually use this uh, this morning in our oatmeal. Okay, so sometimes you don't want that extra flavor depending on what it is that you're gonna be putting it into, okay? All right, so super simple. As far as this goes, we're just gonna run this on its highest speed for one and a half minutes, and that's it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn the dial and turn it on. I'm gonna set this timer to one and a half minutes. Now, if your machine doesn't have a timer on it, just set a timer on your phone. Ask Siri, say, hey Siri, set a timer for one and a half minutes. And then you just press play and turn that speed up. grab a decanter, something that's airtight. Now, this is gonna be uh, a little bit warm, obviously, as the machine goes, it's gonna work up a little bit of friction, so it's gonna be warm. Now, if you want it that way, go ahead, use it right away. If you want it chilled, like we usually do, we're gonna set it into the decanter here and let that uh, chill out in the fridge. Oh, awesome. You can see here how smooth that is. Wow, look at that, you guys. That is beautiful as always. I better make sure I slip the top or the lid's not gonna fit on. All right, you guys, try this at home. Again, if you need some of the uh, nut milk bags, jump on to alacartcooking.com. You get two of them for 10 bucks, they're reusable. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, we use them all the time. Uh, also, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, so that way you get notified of when we have new recipes tips, tricks, things like that coming out. Again, we do have our happy hour live, which is so much fun because you get to type whatever it is you want to and ask us whatever questions. Uh, happy hour live, 3.30 on every Sunday, and that's Pacific time. Uh, so we'd love to have you join us, but definitely comment and let us know, do you do milk alternatives at home and what do you like? Okay. All right, you guys. Cheers. Hope to see you soon on Sunday.